Hello everybody, my name is Parik, and in today's video I was asked to use either a rabbit or a PS bow against a monster, which I should have it on screen, but uh, the Wheel of Choice gave me Rathian, so I'm gonna go fight a Rathian. Can't ignore the call of the Queen, of course. Those were the augments, here is my talisman, it is a Berserk 2 with a 3 and a 1 slot, with no thing in it for some reason, I'll go change that. And of course here are all the skills and decorations, all these green numbers here are from decorations, Keep in mind, this build is not optimized in the slightest, it is actually very, very poorly optimized. Because with this specific bow, since it's a Chaotic Gore Megala weapon, you gain that affinity right there. That negative 25 to 15, that actually turns to 40% positive affinity. So we are heavily, heavily overcapped on affinity, I think I'm at like 160, which is really, really bad. So if you make a rapid bow and it's around Dragon, do not use this setup, you will do much, much better if you just make your own with the proper amount of affinity. But let's go fight a Rathian, of course. Alrighty, I also don't have quick load for once, as I said, this, this build is very, very poorly optimized. But we'll still make it work. I haven't actually used Rapid in such a long time. I think the last time I would have properly used it would have been Base Rise, when I used to play a lot of bow. It was like my main weapon with Hunting Horn. Uh, but it's been a long time since then. But basically, this is like a ranged shotgun, essentially. So, when you, like, land the shot like that, it always does a certain amount of hits. It does four hits with this one. But, uh, it always does less hits than the other two shot types. But you want to use this if you can't actually get the, uh, also realize I wasn't in Berserk. Um, with this one, you would use Rapid over Pierce if Pierce can't land, I think it's four or five of the hits. I could be wrong there, I believe that's how much it needs to be able to hit for you to use Pierce instead. I also realized I can't even use uh, my close coding here, because we'd have to swap, oh my god, really? Okay, at least it was a single one. But uh, bro, stop. <laughs> I'm not even that far away from you, love. Okay. Um, but yeah, you would usually use Pierce or Rapid and you will swap between those two, and then you would have Spread as its own standalone one because it obviously shoots the most. No, Pierce shoots the most, but it's the hardest to use because you can't actually land all the hits most of the time on the hit zone that you want. So that is why you would use it instead. And then Spread is obviously just a massive shotgun. There's no like restrictions to it. You hit the monster, you get the extra damage. It didn't go past her tail for some reason. That's all right though. We'll just swap it up, get some healing back. Okay. Hopefully she stops trampling, because she has done only tramples. <laughs> only tramples, it's like a an odd OnlyFans for Rathians, of course. Okay, let's get some damage going. Still can't swap to our other coding, sadly, but that's okay. We've got Blood Awakening active now as well, thanks to the broken face. Okay. But yeah, basically Rathian isn't... her face isn't big enough to actually use Pierce on it. That's why I chose this one instead of the Pierce one. Because you can only land like, I think sometimes it can land all three shots, but this will always land all three, so that's the like trade-off with it. Okay, nope. There we go. We're sitting in exhaust phase, which isn't too bad for bow in all honesty. I should definitely swap coding. Right. Yeah, exhaust isn't too bad for bow. You kind of just sit there and wail on them. It's your like ideal situation essentially, where the monster's not moving. You don't have to aim properly. Or anything like that, you don't have to adjust anything at all. So we'll definitely make it work. There we go. Okay, no, no, no. Can I have blade skill? Ah, I did press it, but that's fine. Should be out of enrage soon. Ha okay. She's out of it now, yeah. That's fine. Of course I can't get blade skill now that I'm actually using close coding, right? Oh, that's unfortunate, Stagger. Yep, because she's going to trample off it. <laughs> that was so unlucky. What? Mm, okay, I don't know why it's not doing my dodge input. That's fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Try get a knockdown. Nothing. Shoot the healing bat real quick. There we go. Bite. Per. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's fine some basic shots. You do lose quite a bit of damage as you're seeing by not using spread instead. 
Because with this, you can easily, easily hit her face with all five shots, I think it is, that a spread bow gets. So you'd definitely rather use that on this fight. But that's okay. There we go. Give me some more blade scale, please. Oh, nice. There's a damage check instead, because it is a bow. Damage be kind of filthy, even if we're not using spread. Okay, nice. -oo. Get some of that active as well. Just more damage buffs. No, Ibuki! Okay, that's fine. Trample? A oh, trip. Okay. Trip, trample. Nope. Shouldn't hit me. Nice. Ooh, there's our stun from doing absolute power shots and regular power shots. We definitely take those. Nice. Ooh. Healing bats keeping us up as well. I don't know how many hits we've taken. Probably like two or three. But it's definitely doing its job. Nice and easy like. Okay. There we go. Some more damage. Yeah, you could fit so much more damage into this. I'm not even going to lie. Because you get so much extra affinity. It is legit like 40% extra affinity from using this bow on its own because of the chaotic gore thing. It's just not all that consistent due to needing to overcome bloodlust for it. That's why a lot of people aren't using it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. Get back here. Even though we've messed up a lot, of course it's still a pretty quick hunt because it is a bow. It's not like it's going to be weak just because it's not pierce or spread. It's still going to be decent. The other cool thing about um, rapid, you can actually use it like a ranged weapon. So I can stay in critical zone all the way back here. So I used to use it for things like Valstrax where his wings were always too far away. Oh my god, what? Okay, I, I don't know why it decided to do a, a wire bug recovery instead of the uh, dodge bolt that I input, but that's fine. She just wants to make it last longer, clearly. Okay. Oh, that's the flinch. Oh, okay. Well, she comes down either way. But uh, yeah, you can use it like an actual ranged weapon as well. I used to use it for Valstrax because you could shoot his wings and sometimes the wings would be too far. So I'd change off the coating onto Rapid and then be able to stay in critical zone from so far away. Although, of course, I don't recommend it because you do lose damage by not using a coating. But it's a good alternative if you want to hit them from far away. Like if you were to go fight a Matsu or um, Nawa with a Rapid Bow, you would usually take your coating off if you don't have power coating. So you can stay in critical range the entire fight. At least that's the way I used to play it. I also didn't use Dodgeball back then, so that may have helped out as well. Well, everybody, that was trying out either a Rapid or Pierce Bow, this time being the Rapid Bow. As I said, with this specific bow here, do not use this build that I'm using because you will heavily, heavily overcap on affinity. You could make your build drastically stronger with better pieces. But either way, that was using the rapid bow. The wheel of choice gave me a Rathian, so I'm more than happy with that. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.